Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, today's video is a tractor video. Um, we're all loaded up to go to a very large show in the south of Ireland, Duala Truck Show and Country Fair. And it also hosts a round of the Irish Tractor Pulling Committee Championship. So uh, we're excited, looking forward to that. This would probably be the main debut of my tractor with uh, all the power modifications. So I was really looking forward to this round. Um, Grassmen very kindly were taking my tractor down to this show. Be sure to check out their channel. They're probably the biggest uh, agri media producer in in uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, between them and Farmflex are the two main the two main players. Uh, be sure to check them out on YouTube. Uh, so Grassman very kindly took my tractor down. They do a lot of charitable work in the community. And uh, as I say, they make some fantastic agri media content. So big thanks to them for trucking my tractor over three hours south. Um, so yeah, uh, we set off to this show at stupid o'clock in the morning. And unfortunately, the forecast for the day is absolutely atrocious. Uh, so we're going down hoping... Uh, like like the last event, hoping for a wet and muddy event, but um, I, I always say a bad day tractor pulling is still better than a good day sitting in the house. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned to the video to see how the day unfolds. Uh, it's not what we expected. Nonetheless, it turned out to be a fantastic day's uh, spectating and playing in the mud. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you're a, uh, a new viewer to my channel to this video, please check out my playlists uh, to see what I'm about. And uh, if you like what you see, I'll be delighted to have you uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, everybody that supports me, greatly appreciated. So yeah guys, pull up a chair, relax for half an hour, enjoy the video. Catch you soon. Good morning guys. 3.22 a.m. Man, it always seems to be an early start on YouTube for some reason. So, today we're heading south, deep south. We're going to Tipperary. There's an old Irish song, it's a long way to Tipperary. It's even longer when you get to the gate and the stewards tell you that the show is cancelled.
So just to give a bit of context and the scale of the site and what's taking place, I fired the drone up. This was actually footage from the end of the day and there was probably in the region of eight or nine tractors pulling trucks flat out all day and as you can see they've barely dented how many have to leave the site. Um, there was supposed to be in the region of 700 trucks on site so you can imagine how long 700 trucks would take to pull out, no matter how many tractors you had. Next thing to imagine is the sheer quantity of mud carried on to the main road, with 700 trucks being pulled out of a muddy field. There were wheel loaders on site, all frantically trying to lay paths with wood chip, and frantically trying to scrape the mud off the road. Things look quite sedate just at this point in the video, but this is after a long day of towing trucks out. Uh, we'll have all the footage of the peak chaos. We had bumpers getting ripped off, we had fuel tanks getting dented. All of these trucks have been meticulously prepared for this show with tire shine and panels all polished to an inch of their life i have to say i felt i definitely felt for the owners of the trucks these things are not supposed to be in mud so you had wheel loaders pulling you had large trucks with uh, huge cranes on the back that were extremely heavy so in some cases there were two and even three tractors all trying to pull out one truck the other thing you can't really see from this video is the whole site was on a hill so everything on the high side of the hill was being pulled up the hill so it really was spectacular viewing there were some very large tractors on site and we're just zooming over the roof of my tractor big blue and the Grassman stand now as i said check out Grassman on youtube huge huge agri media concern This is going with video gold. This is right up here straight from you. Yeah. This is where the fun starts. We've got our first truck crane, a loader, and the class are beat, but 
these loaders are quite often a prisoner of their own weight. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes with another uh, another tractor. smaller truck cranes for so the really big ones are going to be a session that's a four-wheel drive one also and he was helping You know, just the risk of the drivers and all, like it's down to whoever's doing it, you know. But certainly, certainly, I'm oh, the keys on her, she's ready to go. I'd love to sit, I'd love to get it, I'd love to get a video of it. How many tractors doing the best side of a whole lot? How many ones doing the best side of a whole lot? So this is a definition of a truck show in Ireland. <laughs> what are you dragging? Carnage? I reckon pure carnage. We need big blue up here. What do you? Just watch so you don't get run over here.
could be, there could be some really, really good videos here. So unfortunately the whole day is a total loss. The show never got off the ground. It was cancelled before it started. But on the upside, we still got to see some tractor pulling. And uh, what a spectacle so far. So yeah, mud and tractors. Um, a lot of shiny trucks are gonna need a lot of washing by the time we get home. 936 fan Absolute carnage as much action as you could ask for Unreal Happy days Trying to see if we can get in amongst the action here. We're deciding where to get Big Blue and bring her in, make some noise and some smoke. I heard a strap go. <laughs> Get into the very heavy trucks now with the big cranes on them, a lot of extra weight, having to double up, pull apart. Lovely eight wheel, eight before, four wheel drive unit with a monster crane on it. I'd say I think it could be in the high teens of tons. Oh, steady on. Oh, steady on. <laughs> If everybody gets out of here without a scrape today, they're doing very, very well. This is just a scene of absolute action. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. This is epic. <laughs> this is absolutely epic. I'll go get the drone up now.
This plonger in the black lorry hasn't even got it in reverse slick. You think you put it in reverse slick and help? All he has to do is put that in reverse. That's a balloon. They're reverse! <laughs> That's a balloon. Full balloon. Or is it broke down or is he? Never seen so much going on where I didn't know where to look. It's beautiful, the truck out all the same. You can run over here, Andy, if you aren't looking. My wee rail, that was a big tractor in the day. <laughs> One five five.
Hey, say no, boss. And a big high hook as well. Yeah, shoot him well there. Oh, he's a tag on the racker, helps.
American tractor pulling American truck co. Over 500 trucks we end up pulled out. We're making a day of it. So that's pretty much the end of the day for us. We had to get on the road and head home three and a half hours north. It would have been great to stay behind and capture the remainder of all the trucks to be pulled out. As you can see, there was absolutely stacks left. Uh, although the weather got better towards the end of the day, so it wouldn't have been just as crazy. It's a real pity the show was cancelled because it actually didn't rain the rest of the day. I can understand why it was cancelled because it was extremely muddy underfoot. However, the tractor pulling probably could have went ahead and would have been great conditions for actually pulling in by the end of the day. It was uh, quite a dry, tacky mud, but the show organisers can only go by the forecast that they're given and it was absolutely waterlogged so that's just the luck of the draw living in ireland shows are very often cancelled we have had a lot cancelled this year this summer Thir the wettest summer in 30 years 
We even had a show cancelled last week. We only found out after we had the tractors all loaded onto the truck and tied down. We phoned the organiser for directions and discovered that it had been in fact cancelled. So yeah, living in Ireland, absolute nightmare if you're a show organiser. It can be a total loss. Big expense and run the show, hiring toilets and fencing and security and uh, medical support and risk assessments and planning and catering just for it to be cancelled. You need some mega insurance in place. So I pity the organisers of the shows and we'll continue to try to support them whenever we can. So roll on the next event. Stay tuned for coverage. I don't know what it'll be, but hopefully be lots of mud and smoke and roaring diesel engines. So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you want more. Catch you in the next one.